Hello everyone, I'm back. Pag-usapan natin ngayon ang Generally Accepted Auditing Standards or the GAAS. Now, please take note, this is different from GAAP, ano, yung Generally Accepted Accounting Principles. Kasi yung GAAP may kinalaman sa accounting, yung GAAS may kinalaman sa auditing. Okay? Now, just to give you a background story, etong GAAS ay idinevelop ng Auditing Standards Board ng IICPA or the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants to serve as a guide. Kasi pag sinasabi kasi natin na uh, standards in general, ano, this measures the performance, no? quality of performance. So sa atin, dahil ang pinag-uusapan natin ay auditing standards, these are minimum standards of measures, okay, of performance that the auditors should follow. Okay, in performing, okay, in doing the conduct, in conducting the audit. Sige, now yung ating gaas ay nahahati sa tatlong category. We have the general standards, the standards of field work or field work standards, and then the reporting standards. Pag sinabi natin na general standards, this applies to the auditor and the auditing firm or network of firm. Samantalang pagdating sa standards of field work, this applies to the field work, yung trabaho mismo. Samantalang pagdating dito sa reporting standards, okay, these are the standards in reporting. Okay, so alamin natin ito ano, one by one. Sa local natin na libro, ano, this is very familiar to a lot of students, lalong-lalo na yung may mga auditing subject. We have the book of Hermosilia, Theo, and Salusagkol. At sa kanilang libro, ito ay nakakategorize into an acronym. Itong General Standards TIP, T-I-P. Itong Standards of Fieldwork, PI or PIE. And then itong Reporting Standards, GIDO, G-I-D-O. Ano, ano ibig sabihin nito? Pagdating sa General Standards, we have the technical training for the T. We have the independence for the I. We have the professional care for the P. Pagdating sa fieldwork standards, okay, PI yun eh, P-I-E. P stands for planning. I stands for internal control. And E stands for evidence. Samantalang pagdating dito sa reporting standards, oh, GIDO, G stands for GAAP. I stands for inconsistencies, D stands for disclosure, and O stands for the opinion. Okay, but more than the acronym, we have to understand ano bang ibig dito sabihin. Okay, so umpisahan natin dito sa standards of, uh, ito sa general standards, ano, na may kinalaman sa auditor ano, na nagpa-perform ng mga audit procedures. Pag sinabi natin na, uh, technical training ano there should be an adequate technical training and proficiency okay yung auditor na magpa-perform ng auditing procedures dapat knowledgeable mayroon siyang sapat kasi pag sinabi nating adequate no sufficient sapat dapat yung kanyang technical training kasi papaano niya gagawin yung auditing ano nang wala siyang idea wala siyang knowledge wala siyang background sa trabaho na yon. So, there should be adequate technical training and proficiency. So, dapat proficient siya. Hindi pwedeng kung ano-ano lang, ano, kung sino-sino lang yung isabak mo dyan para gumawa ng auditing procedures. Because this is very crucial. The work that they do is very important. Independence of mental attitude. O dito dapat objective yung auditor. Free from bias, walang kinikilingan, ano, walang pinapanigan. So in performing his auditing ano, procedures, o dapat hindi siya pumapanig sa isa sa mga parties involved. So that kung halimbawa meron siyang ginagawa, ano, dapat independent siya. Ano? Walang effect yung, sabihin na natin, yung management. Wala siya doon. Wala yung management involvement sa mga procedures na ginagawa niya. So, dapat independent siya. Okay? Last, yung pangatlo, exercise of due professional care. Ang ibig lang nito sabihin, dapat maingat yung auditor sa kanyang ginagawa. Okay? There should be an exercise of due professional care para malimitahan, maiwasan yung pagkakamali. Okay? So, those are the three general standards. Now, puntahan naman natin yung standards of field work. Pag-usapan natin yung planning adequacy. Ano ba ito? 
Well, when performing audit procedures, and I am not just talking about audit of the financial statements, but audit in general, there should be adequate planning. Sapat dapat yung pagpaplano. Ano ba ang gagawin natin? Papaano ba natin gagawin ito? Okay, so there should be audit planning. Kasama na dyan yung mga risk assessment. Ano? Ia-assess natin ano ba ang mga risk involved dito. Okay, at para malaman natin kung ano yung mga procedures na gagawin natin. Do we have to do certain tests of controls? Papaano yung reliance natin doon? Para malaman din natin gaano ka dami yung ating substantive testing. Okay, so there should be adequate planning. Sumunod, dapat naiintindihan ninyo ano, kung ikaw si auditor, alam mo dapat ano, yung internal control structures. So in this case, we have to study okay, yung internal control structure ng company so that we can know, ano, malalaman natin kung paano yun gumagana. At para malaman natin, is it working? Okay, effective ba yun? Or baka may flaw sa design? Baka hindi nito nakukuha kung ano yung purpose nito kasi merong design deficiency. Okay? O kaya naman, hindi siya operating effectively. Last, sufficiency of competent evidence. Sa pagpa-perform ng auditing procedures, there should be sufficient evident ano, at competent yung evidence na nakukuha. Okay? Para masabi natin, ano, kasi we will have to give an opinion. We have to express an opinion doon sa procedures na ginawa natin. Ano yung resulta ng ating ginawang audit? So the evidence should, of course, support the opinion that we provided. Okay? So those are the three standards of field work. Now, pagdating naman dito sa reporting standards, una, report on GAAP compliance. Okay? The, it should be included in the report that they have followed the generally accepted accounting principles. Okay, compliant sila doon. Kasi kung they are compliant, eh the most likely, especially uh, financial statement audits, oh, wala tayo masyadong magiging issue doon because they are compliant. Now, if there are inconsistencies in the GAAP application, it should be reported. Okay, yun lang yung sinasabi ng pangalawa. Kung merong inconsistency, o oh, dapat i-take note ito, no? dapat i-report ito. Ngayon, Kung merong inadequacy sa disclosure, hindi na-disclose lahat, kulang ito, that should also be reported. Okay? So that we can have or we can express the proper opinion in our report. Okay? Para malaman talaga ano yung naging resulta ng audit na ginawa. So these are the 10 generally accepted auditing standards. Now, sa ating topic ano, na IT audit because this is where I am coming from. This is also followed. However, um, there is an authoritative interpretations of GAAS by the AYICPA. Ito yung tinatawag natin na Statements of Auditing Standards or the SAS. Now dito makikita ninyo meron akong mga nilista na may kinalaman sa IT audit. Okay, so hindi ito lahat, ano? marami po yung SAS, marami po itong statements. Pero itong mga naka-identify dito ay may kinalaman sa IT audit. So let's say for SAS 48, or the effects of computer processing on the audit of financial statements. Pero this was superseded, ano? or sorry, this superseded ano, SAS 3, yung effects of EDP or electronic data processing on the auditor's study and evaluation of internal controls. Meron din tayo ng SAS 78, consideration of internal control in a financial statement audit no? as, amend, amend, as an amendment to SAS 55. SAS 94, oh, the effect of information technology on the auditor's consideration of internal control in a financial statement audit. Ang SAS 99 naman, consideration of fraud in an FS audit. Yung SAS 109, which superseded SAS 55, ano, consideration of internal control in financial statement audit. O, ang SAS 109, ito naman ay understanding the entity and its environment and assessing the risks of material misstatements. And last, o, SAS 130, audit of internal control over financial reporting or the ICFR. 
that is integrated with an audit of financial statements. Okay? So, ito po ano. But take note that ang pinaka-objective natin dito is to have an understanding of the generally accepted auditing standards para ma-relate, ma-connect natin ito sa ating IT audit. So if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll be glad to answer that for you. Okay? So hanggang dito muna tayo ano, and I'll see you sa mga susunod na video lecture. Bye-bye!